Hey guys, it's April, and I told you I was going to do vlogs every Wednesday, and I've kept my promise, hallelujah, because we all know, oh my goodness, maybe you guys don't know, but I know that I just so, like, I'm like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'll do it, and then like a week later, I just drop it. For people who have been subscribed to me for a long time, or people that have just subscribed, if you've seen this video, you'll know what this update is about. Why are you touching me? Yes, the why are you touching me video all about just people from little toddlers to freaking Audrey she's just touching me and like the, I had so many situations I don't know how and why it all happened but it did it just it just happened so I wanted to update you guys on am I still getting touched are Audrey she still touching me is Tay Tay still touching me has Tay Tay come over here yet so this video is going to let you guys know what's been going on, okay? So thankfully I've only had one small little situation, well not even a situation, one small little bitty incident since that video. So basically I've not been touched anymore and it's so weird and I think it was maybe because I lived in a small town. Like it had to be because it was so weird but then some of the touching occurred in Seoul too so I'm just like it's so it, it's so weird how that happened but now that I'm out the country like it only once happened um one of the kindergartners from my after school program she had a crayon in her hand she poked me in the boob and I looked at her I was like girl you are not the first one <laughs> and I told her I was like no I didn't even laugh I was like no she was like it's like yeah, 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 you put that, you put that red crayon down, you color on your paper, dang it, stop fucking red and boo. So it's only happened a one little time, but one situation did happen. No one touched me, but it like freaked me out and scared me. And it was once when I was in Seoul, I was on the subway, and on the subways in Seoul, there's usually on some of the um, trains, there's like a section where people with their bikes can come in. So it's just rails and there's no seats. So I was like leaning against it. And this big, huge, burly Korean dude came on the um, came on the train. He like, first he was standing like adjacent from me. And then like every stop, he just kept getting closer and closer until, oh my gosh, before I knew it, he was right in front of me. So as I was standing there, he just like, he was just like keep staring at me and like look at me for a few minutes and then look down and then look at me for a few minutes and it was like freaking me out so i'm just like on my phone like totally like trying to ignore him and like turn around and just I'm like okay this is so freaky so i get off and this happened to be his stop too so I, he gets off so i'm walking next thing i know like i can feel somebody just like on me and i turn around and he is like right here he was like extremely tall i'm talking about like a football player dude and he was like right here and he kept looking over my shoulder and I was like oh my gosh what is he looking at like this is so scary like it was the only time ever in Korea have I ever been like like nervous like that was the only time I've ever something's made me nervous and I was still in the middle of my taekwondo learning so I couldn't properly kick anyone's butt yet <laughs> not that I can <laughs> well if need be but you know <laughs> you can ask somebody okay i was just like i was like freaking out and he was like hey and i was like um hi and then i just like darted off well come to find out he was looking in, in my shirt and at my chest and i could have i think he said something else to me or something he he made a comment but i cannot remember he made a comment about my boobs and i was just and that's what i was like darted off and it was just so weird. It was like he had never, I mean, like he had, ne like he never even knew the, heard the name booth before. Like he had never seen it. the way he acted was like a child or something. It was just like, like it was so crazy shocked. And I was like, and I mean, I like never wear low tops. I never like, I knew for like, oh, this shirt is low. <laughs> like I never like, I, maybe because I have so much, I'm just like. I'm always just covering it's just how I naturally am I just I'm not one to you know because I look like a porn star if I show my so I'm like always covering so whatever shirt I had on didn't was not like revealing but for him to do that it was just like I was like you are just so disgusting you know? you know like it was it was like he would like swim the English Channel and like walk through the Grand Canyon to go look at my boobs and I was just like dude this is crazy that situation he did not touch me but it did make me extremely uncomfortable that was like a year ago like 
soon after that video happened after i did, did that video now one thing that has been happening is um folks people koreans commenting on my body and it happens to be co-workers and more than that co-workers my principal my vice principal yes <laughs> so my school just got a new principal and he's oh my gosh so nice i mean just great like oh my gosh i was like wow this is like a wonderful ajushi <laughs> like i really like him and he's so cool or whatever i guess in korea like it's okay i mean well, Okay, like I told you guys about the popping bottles. It was like a rap video video. You know, we went to dinner and it turned to soju bottles everywhere. Everybody was drunk, you know, Nordic bong. My principal touching all of my, oh, principal touching all of my face. So, like, being, I guess, like, you know, not stuffy with your coworkers is, like, a part of the culture. Like, in America, you can never, like, it, it would be, in like, in the contract, like, oh, you could not you know have outer activities or people that you work with and this and this and that so it's just so different for it to be in korea and and going out on dinner and partying and being like a family like with your co-workers just so different and shocking for me you know my vice principal like i just realized like the other day it was like a freaking epiphany i was like oh my gosh they can't always mentions my body and I'm just I, I was like this is crazy I it's just something I just realized it like whenever like me and him or like he has another teacher so they can translate so he can get his point across when we were at the dinner he was like oh I'm smaller than I was in September and it was translated to the teacher it was like oh are he said are you dieting and I was like Pfft about me dieting okay i'm gonna eat my cookies and my coffee every day and he was like well, oh are you exercising i was like uh, no and he was like oh are you walking i was like oh yeah, yeah i walk he was like oh around the park in your neighborhood i said to work <laughs> y'all tripping Amber jackson ain't doing no kind of extra activity <laughs> like i love like the stuff i love is like tennis and swimming there ain't no tennis courts and i love batman and where the batman place is at you know swimming pools like what i want to do and then like i want to get back into taekwondo and i want to do kendo like stuff i want to do is not available so i ain't running nowhere he was like oh you're smaller your figure is smaller and other times oh your face so small or nice or your body shape oh that outfit it looks good on you or my both the principal and the vice principal have asked me oh do you have a boyfriend do you have a boyfriend oh why not like I'm just like, um, I don't think I need to get into all that, like, you know, I've even had, like, well, it was, like, a hairdresser lady, she was like, uh, um, Hanguk Namja Shuyo, and I'm like, no, I don't, it's not that I don't like him, it's like, who, oh my gosh, like, in America, people ask me this question, why can't, you know, there be, like, an attractive woman single, you know, <laughs> it is her decision, you know, oh, and all, like, it, it's just that, it's hot it's, i mean i really just had to get used to it and like i'll even have like korean friends like they'll be they'll mention something like i had a friend we were out at dinner she was like oh your face is so small and she's like oh i'm doing an exercise class join i was like yeah she was like don't you want to lose weight and i was like yeah maybe my thighs or you know my legs whatever and she was like not your arms and i'm like well you know if you think i'm fat let's go ahead go up you how about my whole body let's just you know why don't i just cut down two three sizes other you know cultures that whose body shapes are different don't understand you know women of um, a different ethnicity like you know our, our body shape is going to be different like you know like up here or down there it's just you know like it might be like fat to you but it's actually like normal I'm like yeah i would love to get toned or whatever but commenting on it and like it makes me like angry at first and i'm like you know what a way that Koreans show their friendship or that they care about you is to be like, oh, have you eaten? Are you healthy? You know, have you lost weight? Are you dieting? It seems a little straightforward and like kind of uh, hard, but it's actually just their way of caring for you. So like when my friend said that, I was just like, I just, just like whatever, whatever. Cause she let me borrow her cardigan cause it was cold. She was like, oh, but it's probably too small. I don't think you're gonna fit it. She was like, but go ahead and try it on. I try, I'm like, it's almost baggy on me i'm like you know i don't think i'm that <laughs> you know you're out here like the shoe size oh big size big size um i know some koreans got some bigger feet than i do you know and oh thank god i've not been in touch anymore <laughs> it's so weird that it just stopped but 
um, the situations have not occurred other than the creepy fo big football guy in the subway and my principal and school people always commenting on my body other than that it's been <laughs> it's been okay it's been pretty good so guys don't forget to subscribe like me on Facebook and Twitter follow me on Instagram and follow me on Tumblr if I got touched by Tay Tay I wouldn't complain no I'm just kidding